Yo, what's good with you on today's video? I got how to make a Battlegrounds game. I think, I think this is part 13, I believe. So it's been a minute since I've recorded a video, but yeah, now I'm saying college been, you know, I'm saying it's been, you know, how it is, but anyway. So in part 13, I just got a few things, nothing too big for y'all. Um, first, admin characters, even though I've kind of, I kind of thought this was like, self-explanatory when i explained how to do like game pass characters i guess some people still don't understand how like admin slash owner only characters work so i'll just explain how that works for you guys an example of how that works and everything um and then uh what's it called we have uh some bug fixes and then i uh added this i saw like one person asked for this but like it was actually interesting they asked for it like after i uh, after i already figured it out and stuff so i made it so that players cannot move while they're being attacked because the way we had before with the combat system was a player could like even if they were being punched or something they couldn't necessarily hit back but they could still like walk or run away so now it's where um you, like a player can't move if they're being attacked like their walk speed and jump power will be set to zero and stuff while the combat status is set to attacked so yeah let's go ahead and get straight into it like i said it'll be a quick little video and yeah all right so we can we actually we're not changing anything we're not changing anything with the local script so we can head on over to the core script and i'm going to first show you guys how to do the admin characters okay so right under the combat status table you're going to create another table create a variable so local then let's say admin list as an example right and then it's going to be equal to special brackets we're creating a table now here's where you would put your allowed users names and stuff it's case sensitive so it has to be the exact same as your username so for me my username is spike 19 so i would put my username if you wanted multiple people you would just put comma quotation marks blah 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 username comma quotation marks and then so forth if you wanted to do multiple people right so then we're going to scroll all the way down to like i think this is like line 37 so this for i mean parallel zoo, we're pretty much going to change the way um this works and stuff kind of rearranging it so that uh it checks to see if uh if it requires um admin only and stuff right so before we go ahead and set the up let's head on over to server storage right and then we're going to go to the character folder i don't i don't even think i deleted it not gonna lie nothing about it yeah i didn't okay so you guys see how in character two right there's this value it's a string value and stuff it isn't it's not set like the value isn't set to anything but it its name is admin only right so let's say you want an admin character you would open up your character folder find the character that you want to make an admin or owner only character whatever and then you click the plus icon type in a string value insert that and then you would rename that string value to admin only right and that's uh what would let the script know that like okay this is an admin only character so only people whose names are inside of this table will be able to use that character now we're going to update the way we checked it to verify if like a player owns uh, a character if they need if there's some type of requirements that they need to use a character which you know would be either need to own a game pass or need to be an admin or owner of some kind of stuff right so we're going to first modify this if statement so we're going to say um if you don't name is equal to character name and then we're going to say you're going to remove the not and then we're going to say if so we're going to say and you know find a game pass id which obviously means that the player owns the um i mean just a game pass only character and the player owns the uh, game pass so they can use that character so then we're going to say mps owns wait i'm confused where's why isn't it use oh user owns game pass my bad so then you know you would say player dot user id and then you would say comma v dot game pass id dot value right and then you know you would say player dot current character dot value is equal to character name right then you would come down here and then we would adjust this um else if statement you would say else if v and then you're going to delete this you're going to say else if v um how do this oh colon find first child then you're going to say admin only so this is checking to see if it's an admin only character so then of course you would delete the game pass part and stuff because characters are either game pass they're either free you need a game pass or admin only and stuff it's usually how it works so we can just delete that part and then of course you can delete the game pass part but we got to replace this actually so um we need to make sure that you know of course it is the right character so we're going to say and v dot name is equal to character name right and then if if uh you know once we verify that then we're going to um go in here and then we're going to say if table dot find then you would throw your admin list in there comma and then you know um you would say player dot name so if you find the player's name then, which means you know they have access to the um character 
then enter and then you know you would do the whole you could just copy and paste this so just control c control v then you would update it current character that value is equal to character name and then you would say else return which pretty much means if the, you can't find their name in their table that means the player is not supposed like they can't they, uh, they are not able to access that character so return it's, it's just going to stop everything from here and stuff so they'll just like it'll refresh the player but they'll still have their same uh character they had like beforehand and stuff like that only difference is literally they'll just like it'll just refresh them that's really it so then after this so then after this end you're going to throw an else if you're going to say else if v the name oh my bad the dot name is equal to character name right um and then you say and not it's pretty it's pretty much just checking to see if it's a regular character like you know and not uh copy and paste this you know so pretty much and not you don't need to get you pretty much don't need a game pass and then not admin only which pretty much just means it's not admin only either so yeah and not enter right that's simple then we could just you know remove the space but yeah and then if that's the case, then you just copy and paste this, control C, control V, and then boom. So that's just for like, you know, regular characters and stuff. So yeah, that's really it. And stuff for people wondering how to make um admin only or admin slash owner only characters and stuff, right? And that's all the adjustments we really had to make there. Um, We're going to scroll down and we're going to get into the part now where we adjust. Let me just double check to make, okay, just make sure I'm good and stuff. So now we're gonna, we did the admin character. Now we're going to get into bug fix and player cannot move while being attacked. So if we go down here, you guys see the um, humanoid running function, right? So I'm going to create something similar to this. So you can really copy and paste this function and then you're just going to paste it on, <clears throat> you're going to paste it after it. So control C, control V, and then I'm going to say character, um, instead of humanoid, you're going to say player.character.combat status, and then you're going to change running to changed. So when the value changes, right? And then you can delete the speed in the parentheses. And then what you're going to do is you're going to change the if statement. So you can replace this. You're going to say if player, make sure you do player, not character, player dot character, not just character. So you're going to say player dot character dot combat status dot value is equal to in quotation marks. You're going to say attacked then. And then now you're going to make it so that the player can't walk or jump. So you're going to say player dot character that humanoid that walk speed is equal to zero and then player that character that humanoid that jump power is equal to zero and then for the else statement you're literally just going to set it back to normal so control c control v and then you're just gonna set it to whatever your default is in your game so 16 or if, and uh 51 and stuff right because that means they're probably their status has been returned back to whatever the default is now if you want to double check and stuff you could say like else if and then you could say like certain um uh combat status stuff if you want to be specific and like make sure that it's you know one where they're able to walk so now we're going to move to the module script so let's open that up the combat script so then we're going to go down here this involves the bug fixes as well as what we just did so let's go down to line 40 so i noticed i made a mistake here so instead of spelling i spelled like attack I, like I don't, I don't know attack i don't even know how to say that but it's supposed to be with two t's so yeah so just change that to attacked then we're going to scroll down here and then i changed the way i did this so i like line 103 so here um which, let's see trying to see the test that we just there okay so here's what i did right so you could just control c this right control c boom you're going to go after the remote event and then you're just going to set up a delayed function so delay 0 0.5 seconds comma function close parentheses enter then you're just going to paste it control v boom right this is simply just making it so that like the enemy character's combat status is actually changed for a few seconds and, and then um it's set back to normal and stuff so that like it so that i think before the problem was that it was like changing back too quickly so that it wasn't even registering that the enemy was actually in combat so yeah so done there then we're going to go down to like 170 and then um you guys see the character combat status here we're just gonna do the same thing so after the ultimate you're just gonna do or sorry after the yeah the ultimate bar thing control v or sorry hold on we're going to set up the delay function first. So let's just copy and paste this. Save ourselves one time. Control C, Control V, and then you can just copy and paste this. Control C, delete it. Control V, 
right? And then boom, just like that, we are done. And then uh, I guess we could go ahead and test just to make sure. So let me go ahead and hit play. Wait, I just realized I don't think we can test this with. I don't think we can test this with. Oh, wait, wait, no, I know I did this. Okay. So if we go to players, we go to current or not current character. Wait, where is it? Combat status. So if I change this to like attacked, let's see, can I move? I can't move and stuff. And then if we set it back to normal, where there's anything else that's not attacked, then move. I can move normally. So yeah, if you enjoyed the video, definitely leave a like and subscribe. Like I said, it was a small video just showing you how to do a few things, bug fixes and stuff. So hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, definitely leave a like and subscribe. If you want me to continue the series, definitely keep showing the series lots of love and support. Leave any comments or suggestions or anything you want to see in the, and stuff in the comments. And yeah, thank you for everything I'll do. I appreciate it. And uh, um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.